Until now, Vauxhall's lineup of SUVs has left us feeling a little cold. The Grandland and Crossland X are fine cars, but they lack the flair and head-turning abilities of some of their rivals. Now though, the brand is shaking its dowdy image with this, the all-new Mocha. A huge departure from the bland styling of the old model, the new Mocha is the coolest Vauxhall we've seen in years. It's utterly modern with the company's new so-called visor front end. At the back, the striking design continues with some slim rear lights and bold Mocha badging along the tailgate. And the good news continues to the cabin, where it looks like no other Vauxhall SUV we've ever seen. OK, so it isn't quite as colourful and funky as some other cabins in this class, but you get a big pair of screens sitting atop the dash and buttons in place of a gear selector. It's just as spacious as the old car, despite being slightly smaller. While the overall length of the car may have shrunk by 125mm, the shorter overhangs and increased wheelbase mean the Mocha is still as practical as ever, although boot space has shrunk by 6 litres. Under the bonnet, the Mocha gets broadly the same engine selection as its PSA stablemate, the Peugeot 2008. Entry-level cars get a 1.2-litre turbocharged petrol motor with just 99 bhp and a six-speed manual. A more powerful 134-horsepower version of the same engine is also available, this time with the added choice of an automatic gearbox. A diesel version is also available with 109 bhp, capable of well over 60 miles per gallon. But for those after clean economy, there is also a pure electric version called the Mocha E. It makes use of a 134 horsepower electric motor hooked up to a 50 kilowatt per hour battery, which Vauxhall says is good for a WLTP range of 201 miles. This being a Vauxhall, naturally there are plenty of trim levels to choose from. This SRI model being the best looking thanks to its 18 inch alloys, black roof and tinted windows. But if you're after a small SUV that will turn heads on the high street, there are plenty of other choices out there, not least our current class favourite, the Mazda CX-30. An undeniably pretty car, the CX-30 takes the familiar curvy design language of the three hatchback and adds some ride height and plastic cladding. It looks wonderful, but it's inside the car where you really notice the designer's hard work. The sculpted dash adopts a minimalist approach with a sporty three-spoke steering wheel and some fabulous front seats. High-spec cars get two-tone leather that feels as soft as anything from BMW or Mercedes. In fact, we'd argue that the CX-30's interior is nicer than equivalent crossovers from any German manufacturer. It isn't just the design that's good, the quality is fantastic too. The infotainment works well, while there are just enough physical buttons to keep everything simple while on the move. Powering the CX-30 are two versions of the same 2.0-litre petrol motor, a 120 brake horsepower Skyactiv G unit and the more potent 178 bhp Skyactiv X. Both have a choice of a superb 6-speed manual or smooth 6-speed automatic gearbox. Mazda is hoping to prove that internal combustion still has a future with the Skyactiv. In theory, it's engineered to combine petrol performance with diesel economy. In reality, while it is frugal, performance still seems to be somewhat lacking for now. But while the CX-30 looks and feels like a truly premium product, prices are comparable to the Mocha. It is still our class favourite and a great family car.